Hey, Sonny. No man around here named Tim Cannon? Yeah, he's in the saloon. Cannon, here you are. Am I? Will you gentlemen please get this polecat out of my room? We'll do that, ma'am, maybe. We're glad to find him here. Happy as bears in a berry patch. Would you mind telling me, gentlemen, what's all this tracking and trailing about? From Colonel Conover, sir. He'd like to talk with you. Oh, the Army, eh? I thought you were from down Kansas way. Had a little trouble down there, nothing important. Give the Colonel my respect. Tell him the army will have to do without me. In the name of the United States, I herewith arrest you. Using force if necessary. Force is necessary. on his way up, sir. I mean the colonel, bless him. Colonel? Where is he, Lieutenant? In the next room, sir. Never mind. Seeing an old friend, a very difficult matter, Quinny. Friends, ties of friendship. Burke! Release, Mr. Quinn Cannon. Is this the only way you can handle a situation, Lieutenant? Your orders were, sir, for me to find Mr. Quinn Cannon and then to hold him. To hold him, sir, this action was necessary. Mr. Quinn Cannon has a habit of hitting people with anything he can get his hands on, Colonel. Burke, out west here, people don't put handcuffs on grizzly bears unless they don't now. I wouldn't mention this to anyone. They might not believe you. How'd you do it, anyway? I say, how'd you do it? Well, sir, it was like this. We entered the room. No hard feelings, Lieutenant. Dismiss. Stand by. You going yellow, Quinn? Quinny, I... Quinny, I'm sorry. Quinny. Detail reporting for duty, sir. Skip the sirs from now on. This stays here. But, but I'll need some indication of rank or uniform. Listen, Burke. The Academy is still on the Hudson, 2,000 miles east of here. My advice is to leave it there. The saddles are in the stable. Bring them out. Oh, Burke! Take that ramrod out of your back. You'll ride much easier. Dare at me? Still the prettiest thing I've seen this morning. Now mount up. Reconsider, Quinny. What? Your commission. I can get her reinstated. 
The army can sure use you. They have already. What do I do now? You're a lady knows how to kick. Well, kick. How you doing? Why don't you stop trapping people? Ma'am, a horse softens you up before he hardens you up. May I help you mount? No, thank you. I can manage myself. Very well. Mount. We're moving. Crossing that ridge over there, before the country gets too open. It's easier country on this side. That's why the Indians use it as a high road for hunting and war parties. I don't see any road. You're not an Indian. Now follow me. Ride where I ride. We'll stay below the skyline. But here I've got, I want to keep it. Build a squad fire. How about me making us some hot corn pone and boiled coffee? Like neither one of you tasted west of Biloxi. Pulling steaks in 20 minutes. Supper is buffalo jerky and water. Passing around, huh? 20 minutes? Why? Indians around. Think we'll have a skirmish, maybe? Not if I can help it. Besides, it's a hunting party. Did you see them? How do you know? What are you trying to do? Scare us? That's my sideline, ma'am. Scaring women. Cheyenne buffalo arrow. How do you figure it? Well, a buffalo arrow flies with the blades vertical, so it can enter a buffalo's ribs, which are vertical. War arrow flies with the blades flat. A man's ribs are horizontal. So are a woman's. Come on, we can show them the way. Dismount. Calvin, you stay here with Miss Mason and the horses. Hold their muzzles so they can't whinny. What is it? Small party of Indians in that gap down ahead. We've got to go through there. Burke, you're going with me. Yes, sir. No. If there's a fight, it's got to be a quiet one. Got a sheath knife? No. Now, sir, to fight with a hatchet? Just think of yourself as a man who might have to save his own life. If an owl hoots, bring up the horses. If a coyote barks, hightail it out of here and head for Fort Kearney. All right. No, oh, I hope nothing happens to him. To them, I mean. Ma'am, with God riding herd, a man can do much. Quinny there can do more than most. No, it's funny. He seems to me to be so much more than an Indian scout, buffalo hunter. Best scout on the Bozeman Trail, and he used to be an army captain, too, in a Larrapin Goodwin. What in the world made him give up a position like that? Well, I don't figure it. He must have had his reasons, though. He was in on that massacre of Black Kettle Cheyennes. Guess he didn't like it. I hate the West. Barbaric. Yes, um, anything can happen hereabouts. Three things a man has to have handy in the West. A dry rifle, something to eat, and a prayer. And many a time, a prayer is the only answer. I haven't prayed since I was a little girl. Well, you're a big girl now. They'll do the best they can. You and me will pray the best we can and hope for a Hornswoggle miracle. What's that? Ma'am, that's when you come out of it alive.
I never heard of oak soup before. Neither did I. You barbarian. Aren't we all? I don't bother to hide it. To scalp a man in cold blood. I didn't scalp him. What do you call those? Well, I just borrowed his hair. Thought I might need it. What do you call scalp? Skin where the hair grows out. See any skin on those? Stop. What are you making? An Indian stagecoach for you, Chiquita. Chiquita? Yeah. It means you're cuter than a fawn's ears. All right, get the saddles off the horses. Calvin told me you used to be an army officer. I was. Captain, 7th Cavalry. Don't you ever regret it? I mean, army life is so exciting and glamorous. Is it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. All right, stash of iron those trees and cover them with branches. These are government property. So are you, Lieutenant, if I can keep you alive to Fort Smith. Why are we leaving the saddles here? Because Indians ride bareback. We're gone into open country. It's swarming with Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Red Cloud Sioux. So the change of tactics is in order. Here, put this die in your hands and faces. From now on into Fort Smith, we're Indians. Or corpses. I give 20 fine ponies for this squaw. them no harm, only maybe a little case of smallpox. Don't look at them. One of them has field glasses on us. Keep moving. shooting at somebody. Somebody's shooting at us. Who goes there? Quinn Cannon at party from Fort Kearney. You look like Indians from here. Can you give us more identification? My respects to your commander, Captain Bell. Ask him if his hammer toe still hurts. Open the gate. Quinn Cannon? Look more like a Cheyenne to me. Get off that beat horse. Let's take a look at you. Buddy, you better get that cut fixed up. All right, it'll dry. It's awfully bad. Quinny. Count 
Calvin? Yes. Maylene, you watch this. What the devil is going on here? Good evening, Captain. I understand you put Lieutenant Hostetter in the guardhouse. I did. $120 gold pieces. Quinny man could buy a county of land with that. $2,000. Hostetter tried to jump me. I had to shoot. Dead? Yeah. Have the body removed from my quarters. Yes, miss. Back to your barracks, our duty, honor double. Well, he had something coming. Selling Henry Rapides the Arapahoes. How do you know? Know what? Nothing that moved. Anything that didn't? There's a drag tail coming out of that valley over that ridge. Travois and horse tracks. Looks like a whole Indian tribe passing through heading northeast. Oh. That's all right, Burke. You'll learn. I wasn't born in a teepee either. What are you watching for anyway, Quiddy? Whiskey trader named Blackfoot Sam. Well, what do you want whiskey for? Now, that's a right foolish question. Not the whiskey for a little scheme. It has power over Indians. That's against Army regulations. It's for you, would. The whiskey's just a tactic. Wish I had a little of that tactic right now. Horses. Yeah, it means white men's tracks. There's a fire up there. Yeah, that'll be Blackfoot Sand. Now go forward. Keep your rifles in the scabbards. When you get closer, keep calling out Blackfoot Sand. Where'll you be? There are ten horses in this caveat. Four are pack horses. Six are for the riders. Only five men around that fire. Go on in. Sounds like they got Burke pinned down. Swing over that way. Five of them. The Indian got away. And you? I get off easy, Quiddy. You won't be as pretty from now on. Let's get him fixed up, huh? Imagine those gentlemen thinking they could shoot us in the back. Get me one of Saintly Sam's bullet molds. I thought you were going to say on duty I never drink. I took it as an order. Calvin, bring up the horses. Pick out the best one of those for Burke. Right. Looks like what Blackfoot Sam called Valley of the Two Smokes. A lot of Cheyenne and Sioux teepees. Some chief is giving a medicine talk. I'm going down where I can hear. 
I'd like to go along with you, Quinny. Now you stay here and rest that leg. From the temper of the tribes, they're about to go for Iron Wolf's medicine. If they do, the Bozeman Trail will be a river of blood. I don't know how much time we got, but it isn't much. Where do you think the rifles are now, Quinny? They're on the antler horn, to the southwest. Come on, let's go. Give us a little time to start the uproar. Then go on about your work. Right. We'll meet back here. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I'll get this. Here, drink, drink. Good. Make him take out after us. That won't be hard. He wants us too, especially dead. Fort up ahead. Nobody there to help us, Quinny. That place is deserted. Has been for years. I know. We'll ride through it. Let's circle.
take a bad one? As long as I can shoot sitting down, I'll be with you quick. Get some more shells. Where did we get? Too dead out there, Quinny. There's nine out there, including the chief. Looks like they're gonna stay for a while. Here, you take over here. Give me your Smith & Wesson. What do you want two handguns for? Gives me 12 chances. You want to get a medal? No, I'm gonna get Iron Wolf. You'll get a belly full of lead. Late, Captain. I don't think so. Take these men into custody, Lieutenant. Hold it. What are your charges, Captain? Murder of Blackfoot Sam and his party. Murder? You may be my superior, but you're wrong, sir. They tried to ambush us. Arrest them! You heard my order! You're wrong, Captain. I'm arresting you. There's a slip of paper in this pocket. Take it out and read it. To all commanding officers, all units of my command, Mr. Linus Quincannon is on a special scouting mission under my direct orders. He has authority to conduct independent investigations where he deems necessary. Within the scope of this mission, his authority is to be regarded as a direct order from me. Signed, Wayne Conover, Colonel, Army of the West. You're within the scope of this mission. I'm arresting you now. Do you hear my order, Lieutenant? You better have pretty strong reasons for this, Quinn Cannon. Captured a wagon load of those rifles? Who told you about them? Who gave you the gold for them? <laughs> 